Okay guys, uh, today in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to create a triangle in JavaScript using Khan Academy. So what you'll notice over here to the right, I tried to label our uh, canvas as best I could so you guys can notice we have our 400 pixels laid out. So remember it's zero over here on the left hand side of the margin and it goes over to 400 on the right side of the margin. That is our x-axis. Then we also have a y-axis. Y, we have zero at the top and then it goes down to 400 at the bottom. Okay, so let's see if I wanted to place a triangle that looks something like this. If I could, if you could follow my cursor there. So I'm going to place a nice triangle right about there. So what I'm going to do here, the tag that we use for uh, triangles, uh, there is no abbreviation, so we have to spell out the word triangle. So triangle, there we go. So what I'm going to do here, uh, or what's kind of easy, if you if you think about the triangle as three plot points, an x1, y1, an x2, y2, and an x3, y3. So uh, what I'm going to do here real quick, I'm just going to put like a little color dot here. So let's say I'm going to put like a little dot right here. This will be like my x1, y1 right there. Let me get that in there real quick here. So I'm going to get a little dot right about there. That'll be my x1. I'll try to do this a little bit neater. X1, and we got Y1. Alrighty, and then we're going to come down here for, let's say maybe I'll use blue. So I'm going to put a, a, the second point right about here, and I'll call that X2. There we go, best I can. And Y2. There we go. And then we'll use another color here, let's say maybe green or something. As green as I could get it, there we go. Cool. All right. So, and this uh, this third one, I'm going to be green there, and we're going to put that one right about here at x3, y3. See if I can get there. All right. Now, uh, for a triangle, since there's only three points, you could go in any direction you like. So I could have started down here as an x1, y1, went to here, x2, y2, and up here, x3, y3 or whichever way I'd like to. It doesn't matter with a triangle. When we move forward with uh, some quads and other shapes, then yes, you'll have to go in one direction. But for today, we're just gonna go in any order we like. So again, I'm gonna try to make a, a triangle that fits in here. So you notice I already have my tag triangle. Now my first plot point, obviously I'm coming across about 200 pixels. So that's my X1 point, 200. Sorry about that, 200. And then it looks like I'm coming down about 100 pixels. So that's my Y. So it's my Y1 equals 100 pixels. Get that 100 in there. There we go. Good. And then my X2, you guys will notice to get here, it's about one. It's about 100 pixels over. So from the margin, it's about 100 pixels in. So I got 100 for my X2. And then I'm coming down about... 300 pixels. So that would be my Y2. There we go. Put my coming. Now over here for my my X3, Y3. Again, I'm coming over 300 on the X. And then I'm coming down 100, 200, 300 for my Y2, uh, for my Y3. So this will be 300, comma, 300. So again, these three plot points will allow me to figure out uh, a decent looking uh, triangle right here. Okay, and again, all I used was my X1, Y1, X2, Y2, X3, Y3. Let's say if I want to create another triangle. Let's say maybe if I'm going to create a triangle, I'll just draw this one out here real quick. Let's say maybe I wanted to make a, a smaller triangle. Maybe I want to have it right up against the edge. We'll go over like this. Then we'll go down to about 50. There we go. Good. So something like this. So again, maybe I'll use something similar. Maybe this time I'll use green. Maybe we'll start at this one right here. We'll start there for a green one. Maybe we'll use green as X1, Y1. Maybe we'll go with a, like a purplish color. Maybe we'll go across. So we'll consider this one X2, Y2. And then we'll use another color, whatever, uh, orange. How about that? We'll use that for the point right here, X3, Y3. Okay. So let's take a look at this. Let's uh, Let's get our tag in here so we're going to call it triangle there we go and for my first point which was, again was the green one 
coming across 100 pixels. So that's my X1, 100 pixels. And how far down? It looks like I'm coming down about 100 pixels. So that is my Y1. And then, <clears throat> excuse me. And then it looks like we're going to be coming to our X2, Y2 here. So notice I didn't go in at all on the X axis, so it's zero. And then, yes, it looks like I'm coming down 100 pixels. So that's my Y2, 100. There you go. Now my last point, my last plot point, this orange one here, it looks like I'm coming about 50 pixels across on the X axis. And then it looks like I'm coming down 100, 200. So my Y3 will be 200. There we go. Close that up with a parenthesis and a semicolon. And you can see that now I have a nice, neat triangle. So again, the, the, the biggest thing you need to remember here when creating um, triangles, it's easy if you just lay it out using your X1, Y1, X2, Y2, and then your X3, Y3. So hopefully this helps. Uh, practice a couple more triangles. Uh, you can put them in uh, any direction or, or in any order that you like. Uh, again, remember you have all kinds of triangles that you can utilize. So hopefully this video helps out and uh, best of luck making your triangles. Take care, guys.